Well, hello, my friends. Uh, welcome back to the new weekly edition of the Market Preview. My name is Vasily. I'm a private trading coach and professional trader. In this edition, I teach you how to apply just technical analysis to make the accurate predictions trading the financial markets. And for today, I have three pairs to analyze with you. The euro dollar pair, the Aussie dollar pair, and the euro pound pair. You will get very, very important insights on trading the harmonic pattern approach and the harmonic patterns. And uh, we will discuss with you breakouts and how to identify them and how to make predictions based on the structure breakouts. Yes. So let's start our analysis. So first in our radar for today is the euro dollar pair. And what happened during this week, the market is finally broke below the, the structure support, the horizontal support. Uh, we saw the test of this support, the market retraced from it, and then it dropped to the downside. While it retraced, the market has respected the boundary of the uh, falling channel. And now it looks like the market continues lower within this channel. What is interesting right now and what should we expect next week is that the market is entering a very, very important structure zone. Here, based on the on this wix, on this rejections, is the initial point, the starting point of the important structure zone. And here lies the current market low. So this will be a very, very, very important area for euro dollar and as you can see the market is very 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 close to this zone and you can see that this zone is quite wide and uh, making our trading decisions based on this wide zone is very very difficult so we are looking for the additional signals additional confirmation with this within, within this zone to know which level is the strongest one within it. So here I will apply the very easy harmonic approach. This approach is based on the so-called harmonic movement. So what I do here, I take the last bearish impulse, yes, then I take the retracement and what I do, I copy and paste this bearish impulse and project it from the retracement point yeah so you can see here lies our completion of the harmonic movement and i will pay close attention to this 109 one level simply because it is lying within our zone then it is lying perfectly on the support of the channel and we have the completed the projected harmonic movement so from this point i think we can expect with you some pullback but even if we see the pullback i strongly believe that the market will set the new low low um uh, in i think in february right so the trend is bearish and we have already retraced from this market low. So I think that this time we can expect with you just the minor reaction from this zone and then continuation downwards. So what we will do with you next week, we will follow the market within this channel. We will be looking for the retracement from the completed point of the harmonic movement. And if we will open long trade with you, remember that the safest stop will be where it will be strictly below the current market low because if the market goes below the market low we are on in our predictions and there is no point for us to wait for a pullback yes and if you are a breakout trader if you are waiting for the uh strong bearish continuation downwards this is your kill zone as soon as the market breaks and closes the zone on, on the daily it is a clearly bearish signal for the market participants. So you can also join the movement. Yes. So now let's go to the Aussie dollar chart. So next pair in our radar is the Aussie dollar pair. And this week we made about 70 pips on the pullback 
from this structure support right here. And if you want to know how we made it, you can watch the last video on YouTube and follow me on TradingView and check the recent ideas because I have explained multiple times how to catch this pullback and just executing the rules we made nice profits from this pullback. And when the market retraced, it stopped perfectly on structure on the left. Yes, it retraced and then we look left and we see a very, very strong level of resistance right here. So the market has reached this point and dropped. It dropped and closed below the current low. It makes me think that now the correction has uh, finished and the market now continues its bearish movement. I believe that next week the Aussie dollar pair will be very, very, very bearish. We broke below the key structure support on the left, the low of 2019. And it makes me think that the breakout now is confirmed. The structure breakout is confirmed and we can expect with you further bearish continuation. And no matter what is your current view on the Aussie dollar, whether you bought uh, a lot and he wanted to go up, embrace the reality. We see that the market is bearish, that bears are willing to push lower. And if we analyze with you the what happened with the peer since 2018, you see how strong bearish trend is here. And for this reason, it is highly possible that the market will go lower. And I think if we open with you a weekly chart, here we see that we are entering the no man's land. We haven't been here since 2008 and 2009. So now it looks like the market will go to this levels. Remember about that. Bias on Aussie dollar is bearish. It is very, very, very bearish and it's very, very likely that the bearish trend proceeds. Yes. So now let's talk about the euro pound pair and discuss with you the harmonic patterns. Pair for our analysis for today is the euro pound pair. And here, if we analyze with you the pair on the daily time frame, obviously right here we have with you a very strong horizontal resistance, right? And here it looks like the market has found some support and then we have the lower support. So let's just follow what happened with the market during the last months. We saw the movement upwards, then the market started to trading within this horizontal range. Then it dropped to the downside, broke below the range. It was trading for some time below the range within the new narrow range. And then it returned upwards and now it is back within the higher horizontal range. Yeah, looks weird, right? And this is the typical thing when the market trades in sideways. Here it looks like it is a complete indecision. The market doesn't have the direction and it just consolidates. And such kind of conditions are perfect for the harmonic pattern trading, right? And here with you, we have a very, very great potential trade, harmonic pattern trade that I want to show you. But before I show you that, please like this idea, like this video, this, leave a comment. Please help me. Your just liking the idea, you help me a lot. And I see that what I make is truly valuable for you. Yes. So now let's switch to the four hour chart and I will show you the, the potential harmonic pattern that we have here. The only thing that we need from the daily chart here is the strong resistance. Yes. Strong horizontal resistance that obviously is very important for the market. Switching to the four hour chart, what we need to do with you when we are looking for the harmonic patterns, we need to correctly identify with you the impulse lag. And impulse lag is the strong and straight movement from resistance to support 
or from support to resistance. If it is the movement from resistance to support, it is a bearish impulse. And here with you, we have a very perfect, strong bearish movement from resistance to this level of support. This leg is the perfect leg for our harmonic path. And remember, if the impulse leg is bearish, the harmonic pattern will be bearish as well. So then when the market reached this point, it retraced to this level. And here, when we are looking for the harmonic pattern, we need to measure with you the Feb retracement of this point. So we take the impulse lag and draw the Feb retracement, right? And here we can see with you that the market has respected the Fib area between the 618 and 786, right? It is the first condition for the harmonic godly pattern. It is a perfect foundation for the godly pattern. Then we are looking for the retracement from this point to the downside. And then we need to measure the retracement of this point. So we take with you once again the retracement and we draw the retracement from the swing low to swing high. And once again, the market has respected the area between the 618 and 786. This is the perfect conditions for the harmonic godly pattern. And based on that, we will project with you the entry. Yes, the entry for this pattern will be the D point, the pattern completion point. And it is projected by using the FIB extension tool. We take with you this bullish leg and we take the extension of it, right? Swing low to swing high. And we measure with you the extension. What we are looking for with you, we are looking for with you for 1 to 72 extension, because from this level, we will short the market. And if we draw the horizontal line based on that, on the left, we have a very, very, very strong daily resistance, right? So from this point, I will short the pair. I will be aiming at the, and by the way, let's highlight this point like that. So this is our harmonic pattern. X to A, A to B, B to C, and C to D. Very, very, very beautiful harmonic pattern. And from this point, we will short the market. For targets, we use the A to D lag, and we draw the retracement from A to D, right? And we will be aiming at the 382 and 618 retracements. For stop, stop should be just above the couple of pips above the X point. And here I will be using the 60, 80, 86 to level. This level will be perfect for me for stop, right? So the trade will look like that. We will sell them in the market from the D point. Our stop will be the 86 to and the initial target will be the 382, like that. So very, very decent risk to reward for the initial target. And for the second target, we are aiming at the 618 retracement of A to D. So here we have perfect risk to reward with you. Yes. So this is the kind of harmonic patterns that I trade, I trade them a lot and they are very, very, very accurate. So if you want to learn this approach, you can join my private educational group. We talk a lot there about the harmonic patterns. I show my students the harmonic patterns that I am looking at and it is a very, very perfect way for you to learn this trading approach, right? So let's see how it unfolds uh, next week. And I truly believe that such kind of trades are the perfect trading opportunities that market gives us during the sideways periods, during the consolidations, right? So I will see you next week. Enjoy the weekend, relax. And while you're relaxing, don't forget to learn. Yes, because the weekend is the best time to learn. Yeah. 
So thank you for watching and I will see you next week.